I'd like to show you how you can set up a load process save design pattern for interactive signal processing. I'll be illustrating this for an image, but it really works for any process. We load uh, the image file, we process it interactively, and then save the results. The interactive processing is a combination of an event structure in the middle and a while loop on the outside. The idea is to be able to interact with your processing algorithm and then when you're done, save the results. For the case of image processing, I'm loading an image based on this file path name right here. I then display the image in this picture indicator. The image data then can be extracted from this structure unbundler and for this demonstration, I'm adding this offset. The processed image is then rebundled with most of the image information from the original, and then I'm displaying that in this second picture indicator. The control, in this case, has a value change that triggers this subdiagram of the event structure. The stop button triggers this subdiagram of the event structure. When this is active, we then leave the while loop and then move to saving the resulting or processed image. Let's see how this works. All right, the image has been loaded and now we are waiting for an event on the control change. Each time you change the control, the picture process updates. When you press the stop button, this takes us out of the while loop and then we unfortunately see this error showing up. And this error is particularly troublesome because looking back at the file name, it seems like everything is just fine. Although we can clearly see that that final write PNG file uh, subvi did not execute because that file wasn't there. Let's try the simple error handler and see if this gives us, gives us any more insight as to what's going on. Let's try this again. All right, hit stop to break out of the while loop. Well, no, that didn't help anything. We've got the same uh, error message as before. Now, the thing that's not so obvious is that there's nothing wrong with the file name in this case, as is suggested by the error message. The problem actually traces back to the fact that we are handing the right PNG file subvi an empty image. We can see that right here. When the stop button is pressed, that causes us to exit the while loop and it attempts to write the image. But if you look here, there's nothing feeding that subvi. Now here we see it, it does uh, feed it if we were to have left by that path, but here it's empty. Here's the solution. We replace this tunnel with a shift register. Then I'm going to wire through the event structure to the other side here. Let's see what this means for us. Here the processed image passes out of the event structure and then is fed back around to be available on the next iteration of the while loop. Then when we execute the last time for our stop button, then that processed image is available for writing. Let's give this one a try. Process the image, hit stop, Good, no problems here. Let's see if the image was actually created. And sure enough, there's process.png. All right, now you have a better idea of how you can load, interactively process, and then save a signal to a file.